Hello everyone. Today we discuss about algorithm and flowchart to find the given number is prime or not. And as well as we need, we need, we shall write the program uh, on C and C plus plus, right? So now to find a prime number, what is the def? We need to know with the definition of prime number. The def definition of prime number is to find the factors of prime number. So factors of prime number are two, and the factors are one and itself. So suppose if it is if we think if we talk about eight then eight is not a prime number because the factors of eight are one two uh, four eight so there are four factors for a prime number we need only two so eight is not a uh, eight is not a prime number it is a composite number so how to check actually whether it is a prime number or not so to check a prime prime number or not we'll see whether the uh, its remainder is zero or not so once uh, we go with the eight eight as the given number and when we do the divisible uh, of eight by one, two, three, four, and so on till eight. So now you see the remainder for one is zero, two is also zero, and four is also zero, and eight is also zero. So so these are all our factors for eight. So there are four factors for eight. So so that's why we say eight is not a prime number. So we go with another example where n is equal to five. So we'll check the factors again. To check the factors, we need to find the divisibility and check remainder. Remainder and the remainder is zero. Then it be, then remainder. If there are only two numbers which whose remainder is zero, then that becomes the prime number. So we'll divide divide with one, two, three, four, and five. So when it is divisible by one, remainder is zero, and when it is divisible by five, remainder is zero. So five is a prime number because it has factors only two, one and itself. And coming to the seven also, we'll check the divisibility. Of seven, where one is uh, when when with when it is divisible by one, it is zero, and divisible by two, it is not it is not zero. In the same way, three, four, five, six also it is not divisible. It is not remainder is not zero, and when coming to the seven, the remainder is zero. So how many how many zeros we got here? Only two zeros we got, and we got two factors one and seven. So prime number factors are one and itself. So here seven is a number whose Factors are one nine seven, so it is also a prime number. So we will go. We will develop an algorithm based on this algorithm. So based based on this logic. So we'll. Uh, this is an algorithm for prime number. So step one, what we do is we start. We start, and next one is in step two, we'll read n value to check prime or not. Uh, step three, we'll set i is equal to one and count is equal to zero. Step four, we will find if i is less than or equal to n. And in, if it is true, then we go to step five, and else we'll go to step eight. So now, for example, I'll take n as five now. So uh, set i is equal to one, and now if i is less than or equal to n, that is one is less than or equal to five, which is true. So you'll go to step five, and step five n percentile. Percentile is to check whether the remainder is uh, to check the value of remainder. So n percentile i, that is five percentile. Uh, one so five percent i i one i is what zero only so zero remainder is zero so zero equal to equal to zero then it is true then you have to go to step six where you are setting the count as what count is called count plus one so now count was zero now it becomes one and so and next you will go to step seven where i is equal to i plus one and go to step four so when it is i is equal to i plus one i become two now so you go to step four and two less than or equal to again in step four two less than or equal to five. So which is true? So we'll go to step five again. So check the condition. So n is what five? Five percentile two equal to equal to zero. So we are now here five percentile two. That is two twos are four. Remainder is what one. But here we are checking it what zero. So uh, so it is not true. So if it is not true, we have to go to step seven. So in step seven, what we have i is equal to i plus one. That is increment i by one. So now i becomes three. Three less than or equal to five. Uh, sorry, go to step four. So three less than or equal to five. If it is true again, you have to go to step five. So n percentile i, that is five percentile three, equal to equal to zero. So if we move here, we are in this place. So three ones are three, and remainder is two. Here it is. We are checking whether it is zero. So it is not zero. So we have to go. It is false as we have to go to step seven. So i is equal to i plus one. That become that becomes i has become i becomes four. So four less than or equal. Go to step four. Four less than or equal to five. If true, it is true. Yes, then you will go to step five, where four five percentile four equal to equal to zero. That is, we are in this position now. So remainder is what one. So we are checking whether it is zero. So it is not zero. Then again, it is false. So go to step seven. In step seven, again you are incrementing i by one. So now i was four. Now it becomes five, and you are going to you are going to step four again. So five less than or equal to five, which is true. Again, you will go to 
step 5 where you will con check the condition in percentile i that is 5 percentile 5 which is equal to equal to 0 yes it is true then you will count you will set the count as count plus 1 previously it was 1 now it becomes 2 so again you will you will go to step 7 where i becomes i is equal to i plus 1 that is 5 plus 1 that is 6 you will go to step 4 where in step 4 it will become 6 less than or equal to 5 which is false when it is false you are going to step 8 so in step 8 what you are doing is you are counting the you are checking the count value if count value is equal to 2 so now here became count as what 2 only so display prime so 5 is prime number so if it is not equal to 2 then you will display it as what Mm, displayed as not prime and step 9 it will be false so this is the algorithm sorry step 9 is top so this is the algorithm for prime number and the flow chart is like this so you have to read n value suppose f n is equal to 5 and you have to set i is equal to 1 and count equal to 0 so i less than or equal to n that is 1 less than or equal to 5 which is true so yes so you have to check the condition n percentile i equal to equal to 0 that is 5 percentile 1 equal to equal to 0 which is true so yes so then you have to increment count as count equal to count plus 1 so it was before it was 0 now it becomes 1 and you have to increment by i as i by 1 also next step so i was 1 now it becomes 2 so you again move back to this condition where 2 less than or equal to 5 yes so again you have to check this condition 5 percentile i equal to equal to 0 which is false because 5 percentile 2 equal equal is not equal to 0 so it is false that is no so no means again you have to increment i by 1 so i becomes 3 now so in this way you will move like this at last it becomes 6 less than or equal to 5 which is false so you will go to this place no place and you will count you will check the count value whether count is equal to equal to 2 so as we took 5 the count will be exactly 2 so yes so display n is prime number so whatever the number you call you have taken you just display it prime and stop so this is what the algorithm uh, for prime sorry flow chart for the prime number so next we'll go with the program this side it is in c and this side it is in c plus plus so this is how a program looks in c and c plus plus so as c as this is repeating so see check you are going moving back here again coming back here as this is repeating so in c you write these in for loop or while loop or do while loop it become it depends upon uh, what loop you have to use so in our program we took for loop so check here this is for loop where i is equal to 1 and i less than or equal to 9 plus plus and we, this is going to be repeating every time so till here to here this is repeating thing so at last you will find the count value whether it is if count is equal to 2 then you say that number is prime if not you will say it as not prime thank you so much and please do subscribe